I was just adding the uh, almond milk to my daily smoothie. This is something I started doing a couple of months ago. This is just one of the things that I do every day to kind of give myself love. If you've never tried making smoothies before, I highly recommend it. It is so delicious and you can do it really cheaply as well. You can just buy uh, packages of frozen berries when they're on sale and keep them in your freezer and that way you can use the stuff at your own pace because not everybody you know, can get into smoothies on a daily basis right away. But like, it is just the most delicious, um, sometimes energizing, most fun part of my day. Is so as you can tell, I really like smoothies. <laughs> so I came outside to do the rest of this video just so um, I could like to spend more time outside today. And in terms of food being a magical thing, I 100% believe in that. Um, I believe that food is one of my main sources of energy and I believe that energy is the source of my power. So therefore I have a more magical, um, happier, uh, life and I'm more able to live up to my potential in both uh, regular ways and also in magical ways when I am fueling my life when I am fueling my life with the right things I have gone through numerous viewpoints in my life on what is the best way to eat um, I've gone through periods where I've been uh, overweight and underweight due to having an eating disorder um, overweight due to eating probably just a lot of junk food while being stressed out and working too much um, and then underweight due to certain um, things happening in my life where I chose um, I guess well I didn't choose but like I had a lot of anxiety and the anxiety led to me not eating as much like not eating properly and then I lost way too much weight and my energy really suffered and when I started to heal from my eating disorder um, a couple of uh, years ago, I found that I now believe that intuitive eating is the, the one and only diet for me. And I kind of believe that's probably the best one for everybody else too. I also find that when I eat a lot of foods that are overly refined or that aren't very close to their whole food state, that it sort of impedes my intuition. Like it kind of fogs my body's ability to naturally gauge its energy levels. Um, to regulate my mood um, like it affects your relationships your work your sleep everything in your life is affected by the foods that you eat and whether you're eating enough or too much of them and uh, the motivation behind eating them and how you feel when and after you eat them so for me it really helps my energy to just eat in a way where I sit down and properly enjoy my food I don't eat in front of a television I just Sometimes I might have light conversation if I'm eating with a friend or with my partner. But I try to kind of focus on enjoying the flavors and tasting what's there. And, you know, if I'm feeling that, you know what, I don't think I want to finish eating this, I just stop. I don't force myself to finish my plate. And also if I want seconds, I let myself have seconds. And ever since I started just eating completely intuitively and like not putting any kind of like restrictions at all on that, my energy levels just started going through the roof in terms of just feeling good feeling um, a lot more uh, I started to feel really alert and really awake and much happier um, I would even just wake up in the morning feeling much happier than I used to um, before I adopted this style of eating and that affects my my abilities on a magical level like so much you know when I'm operating at the height of my my energetic potential there's like no limit to what I can do on a magical level you know my spells and my rituals all go so much better when I am properly nourished and I don't just mean through the nutrients in my food but when I'm properly nourished by allowing my soul to choose what it is that I want to eat and sometimes that is a piece of cake and that's okay I think with anything magical the key to allowing it to work is to put intention into what it is um, and to really be at one with what it is that you're doing. So for me, to prepare food is a really wonderfully magical experience. And I don't really feel the need to, um, to sort of specifically try to add magic to my food. 
It's just that when I prepared, I tried to just enjoy the experience, especially if I was feeling tired that day and almost didn't want to bother to make something. I kind of just tell myself, you know what, you won't regret making a nice meal for yourself. So just kind of get up off the couch or come through that door and just go and do it before you sit down, before you decide not to. And I always feel so good after I make my own meals. Um, you know, when I'm chopping veggies or fruit, like I just, I, I inhale the, uh, the juices that are like kind of uh, being released into the air as I'm, as I'm chopping up those fresh foods and enjoying that uh, tactile experience of feeling like the, the lettuce leaves in my hands when I toss a salad. Um, there's so much that like you can experience that sort of brings you back to a really grounded and centered sort of a, a state when you're preparing food. And I think fruit, food preparation is one of the, the most um, grounding and healthful ritual acts that we can do for ourselves on a daily basis. And there's other types of things that I feel the same way about, such as doing laundry or cleaning. Um, but food is definitely right up there in um, sacred acts that seem to be mundane, but there's so much more to them. And if you allow yourself to um, really get drawn into the process of doing those activities, then you'll see what I'm talking about. As a Wiccan and as a Pagan, I work with various deities. And whether you believe in them in a literal way or in a metaphorical way, it's nice when you're working with a specific deity to leave an offering for them. Or if you're doing a ritual and you're calling the energy of a deity into the ritual or into the spell work, it's nice to have some kind of an offering or a libation for them. And I started after I became Wiccan to realize that because in Wicca and in Paganism, we often believe that um, there is some part of the divine that is within us. Um, even as we are here on Earth in our human form, there is some aspect of us, or maybe a part of our soul, that is connected to that divine energy. So in a way, every time we eat food, whatever we're putting into our bodies is an offering to the divine and to our deities and to our higher selves. Once I view the food that I'm going to consume myself as an offering and as a sacred gift, it really can affect whether or not I still want to eat it. Anyway, those are my main thoughts on the subject. As you may know, I am a vegetarian. For me, that is something that works really great. Um, it's not necessarily for everyone. Part of the reason I did make the choice is because I do not agree with the way animals are treated in the food industry. Um, and I don't want to put that energy into my body or into my life. Um, but I certainly don't judge anyone else for their choices. And I think we all have to go our own way and find our own path in life. And some people um, definitely need to have meat sources to feel healthy. Um, that's just a fact. Everybody's body is different and everybody's needs are different. There's a whole lot more I could say on this subject, but then this video would be super long. And I really just want to talk about the main ways that this is an influence in my life. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to hear your comments and your own views. And I hope you have a wonderful, magical day.